consists of two parts, essence and personality. Essence in man is what is his own, personality in man is what is not his own. Okay, wait, but what are the two and why is essence our own but not personality? According to G, personality is not our own because it has been created by the external world. So literally everything that we've acquired and stored in our memory, such as impressions, words, feelings or moves that we've learned due to imitation. It's like copy pasting everything that we experience into our own memory and acting on those past experiences, what we've learned at home, at school, on the streets or on social media. On the other hand, essence is that which was and is naturally inside of us. For instance, babies have no personality but essence, which shows itself through natural likes and desires, intrinsic desires that can't be put inside of them from the outside world. However, the personality overshadows the essence that we mostly communicate through this fake identity that we've acquired. And all our egoistic desires that mostly control our behavior stem from personality. So you could compare it to what we know in the Western world as our egos. And you might have noticed that our personality is changing depending on the external environment. Today you are convinced by this argument, tomorrow by another one, depending on what the media or the educational system is feeding you. So if you believe all of those stories that you've got told and identify with them, this becomes your personality. So you're literally a product of your surrounding. And if you communicate through this artificial personality that is made of a collection of different roles, you are not truly expressing yourself but merely reacting to the external environment. And in the end, personality is only a small part of ourselves. And here you can see a list of the negative consequences of the personality. Okay. Now you might ask yourself, so why are we even using personality? And we are using it to actually live in this world. It really helps us communicating with others. But it becomes a little problematic if we take it too serious that we can't really live without all those fake roles and our actual self can't really shine through. And all the impulses and desires of our personality are not really bad that they need to be suppressed or something, but instead they could actually um, be consciously controlled and directed in ways that support our search for higher realizations. Now let's move back to the essence. G said that essence grows and develops under favorable conditions, but mostly it stops growing at the age of five or six, which means that most of the people have the essence of a child, although it could actually continue to grow. So actually the essence has this drive for spiritual growth, but it gives away its potential to the personality. Okay, now we've talked a lot about essence, but we have never really clarified what it actually is. Essence is a subtle substance that has physical characteristics. This means that in order to experience essence, the physical organism has to become sensitive enough to perceive these physical characteristics, which are usually coexistence with the ordinary physical sensations. That means that we need to learn again how to sense our essence, but especially in the beginning this is not so easy because those subtle signals um, often do not get consciously perceived because of all the other overwhelming, overstimulating um, sensations that are around us. And we can actually um, learn this by 
paying more attention to sudden insights, getting more in touch with our intuition. Let's see what else did we get? Dreams or physical manifestations and also um, being more compassionate and less self-centered. So if you want to know how to detect the difference between personality and essence inside of you, there's one major rule. Personality always reacts to the environment, hence it can change. However, essence, when it does react, will always react in the same way. This means if people want to experience an actual inner growth, their personality needs to become less active, but on the other side their essence should become more active. Nevertheless, a certain development of your personality is needed, but this is not where it's lacking nowadays. Most people are separated from their fate and live under the law of accident only. Fate is the result of planetary influences which correspond to a man's type. A man can have the fate which corresponds to his type, but he practically never does have it. This arises because fate has relation to only one part of man, namely to his essence. My name is Till and this is Till Talk.